What's up, YouTube? <laughs> I'm back under the bus again. I'm getting ready to put the water tank in here. As everything is evolving, originally I wanted to put the water tank in the back over top of the engine and I got negative feedback about that. It's too high for the center of gravity, water sloshing back and forth. You'd hear it back by the bed, but it wasn't gonna freeze up there. But as things have evolved, we're now definitely gonna put a full basement underneath here. And this is the C frame. You know, this is the main frame of the bus here. And my water tank will just fit in here. Three quarters of an inch to spare. The water tank can fit up in here, but it'll hang down a little bit below this. Yeah, it hangs down two inches below this plus the channel that it's hanging on but it'll still be up in here high enough that uh, we can slide stuff underneath it. And this under base storage is gonna be insulated and we're gonna use a diesel heater to heat it so we'll be freeze proof again. And yeah, the incoming water line will fit over top of this C-frame so I can just run that thing in and onto the end of the tank. And conversely, the outgoing lines can go up and they can go out any of these sides. And I think I got enough length here easily. I got 84. Wow, I didn't know it was that close. It's like it was made for this. This is 84. And I think the tank is 82. So I got to go check that. But to the other bulkhead up here. That's the fuel tank up there, hanging down below. And I don't know what that other bulkhead there was like to hang something else on. The tank will fit in here. So I'm gonna go start making the frame to hang the tank in here. Since I'm down below the bus, I should have said, what's down YouTube, what's down? I'm down, I've been thrown under the bus again. <laughs> it's really cool under here. So, as far as fixing anything that goes wrong with the bus in the future, those are the uh, airlines, and a, an electrical line and some airlines there, and all the electric lines run down the inside of that C channel. Everything to the back, to the engine. So my thinking is the underbase storages and the water tank are all going to be uh, in components. So if we have to, we can drop the floor out of the underbay. We can unbolt the water tank from both sides of the C-frame, drop it down. And in the unlikely event we ever had to access these wires, that's how we could do it. So we're, we are going to be blocking them in, but no different than a bus that already has underbase on it. And ours are going to be in sections and in compartments so that we can unbolt them, drop them down, get in here if we have to, which by Murphy's Law means we'll never have to be back down underneath here. And I like that idea. Okay, guys, here's the water tank. And uh, it's like... It's almost like it was custom made to fit that hole. It's unbelievable. Um, this way it's got three quarters of an inch clearance. And the spout on the end here is three or four inches short of that back bracket. And there's enough of a gap in the top of that bracket to run the hose right on here. So this should be epic. The water tank will be mounted midship. It'll be mounted down low with a low center of gravity. It'll be in the protected base so it won't freeze. I just think this is gonna be awesome. So I'm gonna get started making a frame to hang this thing up underneath there. Should be fun. Okay, my evolution is continuing here. I just remembered I tore these out of the bus yesterday. Just a nice big heavy angle air conditioning stuff was hanging on it and there's two of them and they're long enough to make this frame I'm gonna 
recycle these angle irons and make them into the tank holder. So I got my main frame worked out here. I got these little notches are where the uh, water spouts come out the other end of the tank. So I'm just gonna tack it up together and then get it squared. Okay, I'm back under the bus again, and this is the cavity where the 100 gallon fresh water is going to go. And I pretty much got the frame all, it's ready to put up in here and trial fit, get it up where it goes, drill the holes, drop it down, put the bolt through the hole with a nut on it, tack the nut in place so that I can get it in here, so I can tighten it up because I can't. Once it fits in here, there's no way to get your hand in there to put a nut behind it. So the other problem is there's two or three of these that are hanging long and the tank's going to get pushed right up against that. So I got to cut those off too. And there's another one right there. But the rest of the way down, I got some rubber belting on the top of the tank that's just going to push up against these brackets. So that'll be sweet when it's all said and done, but I got a little bit of work ahead of me here. Pushing it in and out, I'm gonna have to get help. Both of those gotta get cut off. Yeah, it goes right up on the outside. Okay. Now we're in the room. Huh? Yeah, because we're at the tank up here too. What do you think? Um, we can just block it. You can just put four jack stands under it and then put a couple spacers underneath it so we can lift it. The oh, okay. Take it up, level it up, and put the jack stands yeah, under it. Okay, guys, here's where I ended with the uh, water tank yesterday got a little rough in the afternoon because it didn't fit. I thought it would fit up in the opening that there was, but I ended up having to come back here and move a cross beam back a little bit. And that let me scoot the whole thing back this way to clear the hoses that it was bumping into. So I'm fixing to get brave enough to crawl back underneath here again. <laughs> Because if it was a battle yesterday, the bus won. But uh, it's going to be super nice when it's up in there because it's going to be really a, a real efficient use of space. <clears throat> I almost think that that uh, tank was made for this size, size of frame because it only has a three-quarter inch clearance on the sides. 
but irregardless, it's, it's gonna fit awesome and I'll have easy access since I moved the, uh, the cross beam and I'll show you that when I get underneath there. So, <clears throat> but some of these videos are getting so long, we're gonna end this one today. And if you wanna see more of how this tank finishes up, basically I'm gonna jack it up where it goes, drill the holes, I got a lot more to do to get it in there. So anyhow, that'll be in the next video if you want to see how it ended up. Hope you guys are enjoying this. It's awesome fun, but it can be a lot of work and it can kind of pull you down. Get, you know, you get tired and wore down. And uh, so you got to take a break, walk away, come back, get all rejuvenated and do it again. That's the fun of it, right? All right. Love to all you guys. Have fun.